10 News presents Democracy 2012. Your voice, your vote. With the general election just weeks away, 10 News and the EW Scripps Company are dedicated to providing the information that you need to make informed decisions. And tonight, we are speaking with Michael Crimmins, who is running for the 51st Congressional District against Democratic State Senator Juan Vargas. Both are vying for the seat held for many years by Congressman Bob Filner. Thanks so much for joining thanks, us. Thanks for the invite. There are some that say that the polls suggest that Juan Vargas would be an overwhelming favorite. So with that in mind, lay out what you hope to accomplish in your campaign. What is your main theme and the point? Well, um, I'm in it to win it. A lot of people didn't realize what we were doing uh, prior to the primary, the way we were campaigning. I was continuously down on both sides of the border speaking to the Spanish speaking community about what my plans are to uh, make things work on the border and my other my other priorities. What a lot of people don't realize since uh, redistricting, what this district actually is, how the size of it. It goes from where the fence goes into the ocean all the way over to Arizona, so it's 170 miles. It's the whole border with Mexico. You bring up a good point. It is the entire border, so how will you tackle those immigration and border issues specifically? Uh, I'm totally into it. Uh, you know, when I've been going down and talking to the uh, Mexican, the mayors down in, Mexican, in Mexico, the pre-mayors, they're all PRI uh, in Rosarita, Rosarita Beach, and just yesterday, Tecate, explaining my program, and you know, you can't get it out in 30, 30 seconds or one minute time, uh, time, time bites. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes, just like when I was teaching in school, and then afterwards, they all buy in. They realize that we have to have a safe and secure border post 9-11, and that we have to upgrade our border crossings to facilitate people coming back and forth and we have to know who's coming into our country post 9-11 because even uh, Janet Napolitano admitted several weeks ago that we've had terrorists come across our borders and here we are in San Diego the eighth largest city in the country and it's almost like catch you catch me if you can within a, a half an hour 45 minutes if they have a backpack bomb and if they go downtown San Diego we got major problems. This new redrawn 51st district um, we've already said the border issues because of it right. It going down the coastline, but it's also bigger than Connecticut, Delaware, and Rhode Island Correct. combined. That's, exa so that's exactly right. So how would right. you govern over such a large and diverse district? Well, I'll just be one of <laughs> one of the 53 congressmen, Congress people coming out of California. But my my point is, we have to protect all of our borders in the United States. But obviously, with the 53rd, I mean the 51st, I'm mainly concerned with Mexico and having good relations with them, and. Um, what I want to do is that extending the hand of friendship. I want to reopen Amistad Park, which is Friendship Park. It's about 500 yards up from the ocean's edge in Tijuana. And uh, open it up during daylight hours so families from both sides of the border can come and meet. Takes them immediately out of the traffic lines and burning gas for several hours and all that frustration. And open another one out in uh, Calexico with Mexicali. It sends a powerful message, it, it re really does, that we're here and we're friends and we can work this together and we can solve problems. The other thing I'll... Well, working with people too in, in this environment today as an elected official, what is your philosophy on working across the aisle, which is so necessary now on a lot of these issues. I'm very uh, common sense and pragmatic. And where did I learn that? Learned that in the Marine Corps. You're leading people. You can't be didactic, you know, and authoritative and just going for it. Now, our bullets are flying. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're doing this and we're going here right now. But otherwise, let's come together. Let's come to consensus. Let's have some options and let's pick the, be the best option. So everybody has a little degree of ownership and buy-in, and we can move we can move the ship of state in this particular case forward. What name one thing uh, imperative to the people of your district that Juan Vargas would not bring them? One thing. Integrity, and uh, moral clarity. Give That's us, pretty hardcore. Then give us your priorities, like the first couple of things you would do. Well, obviously, you know, if I get elected, I'm going to have a lot of support. So we're going to have much better relations with uh, Mexico because obviously I'm representing the whole, one whole state. So it elevates the, the, the position. The other thing is, okay, I got gotcha. you. The other thing is it's all about jobs. What I want to do 
over on this side, over on our side in South Bay, is bring another aircraft carrier to San Diego. That generates $500 million annually. Thank over in so El Centro, much. I want to bring the F-35 Lightning. Mexican relations and jobs. And right. We, thank you. And the general election is November 6th. Michael Crimmins, we thank really so appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.